All right, we want to come up with a confidence interval based on some information, and I'm just going to do the 90%. I'll leave it up to you to do the other one. Um, so they give me a random sample of 45 homes. So I know that that 45 is in and with a mean price, so my random sample, that's my sample mean, and assume the population standard deviation is 1910. So if you get your formula sheet out, you just see that you take the mean minus and plus the, the margin of error. All right, so I have the mean. I need a Z for a 90%. So I'm going to use my little cheat table over here because I'm lazy. And I see that will be 1.645. So 1.645. So if I was doing this manually, I would take my mean 150 minus 1.645 times 19. 10 over the square root of the sample size and then the same thing on this side but the plus 1.645 times 1910 over the square root of 45. So basically what you've done looking at this picture down here is we're using the minus 1.645 1.645 because our confidence in here is 90%. So if you throw all that in the calculator, you get 145.32 and 154.68. And you ought to think about this. That makes sense because it should surround my sample mean, 150. So that should be in there, and it is. All right, if you wanted to do this, say, in StatCrunch, because it even says use technology, right? So I can open up StatCrunch. I just need to tell this stat, Z stat, one sample. But now I don't have data. I just have summary data. So I just simply put in the sample mean, which was 150, the standard deviation, oops, 1910. The sample size, 45. I want to do a confidence interval. So about the mean of 90%, I hit compute, and I get the same 145.32. Move you over here. Oh, I guess that's in my way. And the 154.68. And then finally, if you wanted to do this with a calculator, I want my calculator, la, 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 la. with a calculator, you could go to, you can see I already cheated and did it, you can go to stat, test, Z interval, because it's a Z, I hit stat, I type in, I already did, my standard deviation, I type in my sample mean, my sample size, and then be sure you change your confidence level, and I hit calculate. This one's actually probably faster on the calculator, because now if you want to do 95, you just change that number, right? But I hit calculate, and I get the same interval. 